Okay, I have my bulk loader here. I've already loaded film into here. Uh, I showed that in a previous video. This video will show how to take bulk film, load it into a canister. I've done another video that talks about the different components of the canister, so I'm making an assumption that you have seen that video and understand this terminology. Okay, step one is I look at this edge here and make sure that it's clean. I'm not sure who used this last. Um, many, many students use this on a daily basis. And so the first thing I do is I'm just going to look at this edge and I want a nice clean edge to start with. So I'm just going to pull a little tag end out. I'm going to set my scissors up against here and I'm going to cut that at a nice 90 degree angle. Oh, I'm starting off with a clean edge. Okay, as I pull this film out, I'm exposing this to light and ruining it. So I don't want to pull too much out at one time, but I also need enough out here to work with. Okay, I've labeled this, um, the top of this, just to make it a little bit easier. But the long end of uh, the spool needs to face a certain way. And when I install the cap onto the canister, it also needs to be oriented in this direction. So the first thing I'll do, you want to use masking tape for this, three quarter inch uh, wide masking tape, and I pull off about two and a half to three inches of masking tape. You need enough to wrap completely around that spool. This is a method I've developed that works pretty well, and so what I'll do is I'll slide this down about a half an inch. I'm going to attach it to the film. So on the back there you can see about a half an inch overlap. Then I'll come in with my spool. Notice I have long end pointing in the direction that the long end should be pointing. I want to get this on here square. If I stick it on crooked I'm going to have issues. And so the way I get it square is I set the film spool on the film nice and square and I roll it out till it hits the tape. Then I roll it up the tape just a hair and fold this over. Okay, I have film about a half an inch, then my canister, I'm going to roll this over. And what I want in the end here when this is secure, I have tape on both sides of the film, okay, top side, bottom side, and I've created a little hinge section right here that is just tape. That allows my film to spool on nicely, okay, and I could spool it on in either, either direction, but this will give me the best results. I'm going to go to my paper and show you that in another way so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, what I've drawn here is the film canister. The blue line is the film spooling in around. The red is the little pieces of felt. And so my film sits just like this. And when I tape it, I'll use red for tape here. I want tape about a half an inch down, then that tape will come in, go around my spool, come back out, and extend onto the other side of the film. I have tape on both sides of the film. This is my hinge section that is just purely tape. There's no film in there. And what I get in the end is something that looks just like, let me just focus here. I get something that looks just like the hinge section. Okay. Okay, next step, take the canister. I have an option here. I can put it on this way or I can put it on the opposite direction. Okay, the way I remember this is I know the cap has to be on this side and so the large end of the canister also has to be on that side. When I slide this in, Use a little bit of a sawing motion here to 
get that film to go between those pieces of felt. If I just try to shove it in there, I run the risk of damaging the felt pieces. Once I get it started, I can just slide that all the way in. Don't forget the cap. I come in with the cap here. This cap has a little triangular piece that will line up with this area right here where the felt comes out. And so I start about straight up and I'll rotate that closed. And what you see is that the triangular piece of the cap lines up with the triangular piece of the canister and we get a nice edge here. If I do this incorrectly, these don't line up. Okay, ready to go. I wiggle this back in. Allow that to set tight right in there. Shut the door. What I want you to be aware of with the door here is that when I shove the handle through, there's a hole here and there's a hole here in the door. If these don't line up, I run the risk of breaking this. This is very fragile, breaks very easily. This door closes and I pretty much effortlessly slide that in. If I have to push really hard, I'm probably going to break something. Now, when I initially push the handle in, that's all the farther. Oop, there it goes a little farther. That's all the farther it will go. What I want to point out is sitting inside of here is this spool. And if I turn this at the right angle, you'll see the notch inside of that spool. The handle has the same notch, and I have to line those two up in order to be able to spin the spool, run the film in. Now the chances of me getting that on the first try are pretty slim. And so when I install this, it doesn't go all the way in. What I need to do is gentle pressure, and I'm going to rotate this until I feel it drop the full way in. Now that I'm ready to spool, I'm going to just double check my direction here. Turn crank this way. It has a little guide down here to how many turns will give you how many exposures. I'm going to go ahead and roll up 12 for the practice roll. And I usually add on a couple, so I'll go 14 total. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Once I've completed, Pull that out, slide my film out about three inches, set my scissors in there, nice clean cut. I'm done with this. Here's my roll of film. A couple things you want to note here. This spool curve goes down, which means this is spooling inside of here correctly. The top of the film is facing up like this. It's glossy. The underside is a little more of a matte finish. Okay. If this is curving out the other way or this isn't, you know, top and bottom just like this, start over. This will not load into my camera as is. I need to cut a notch here. I'm going to show you what that looks like on paper first. So from the side view, I have my canister. This is the long end. I have my film coming out this way. The holes coming down the side. And I need to come in and cut a rounded corner notch out of this piece of film. And it's going to look something like this. This part will be removed. What I want you to notice is the long end of the film is the same on the same side as the long end of the spool. That's how I remember when I go to cut this. Okay. 
I'm right-handed, so I hold this in my left hand, just like that. Let me adjust focus here. This is the side that I want to remain long, because it is on the long side of the spool. I'll come in with my scissors, about in the middle, go down about an inch, and then I'm just gonna round that corner. Okay, and what I'm left with in the end here, something that looks kind of like that. That will load into my camera nicely. Be aware that if I get too aggressive with the scissors, I could get a little crack here. If I get a crack here, see that crack? This will tear super easily. So if you, sorry, I'm at school, that's the bell ringing. If I get that crack, I'm gonna just cut it off, redo that little piece, make sure I have a nice clean round corner. It's ready to go. Last thing is, label this. Okay, this happens to be a practice roll, which looks exactly like a regular roll of film. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and label this with my name, and then I'm gonna write practice down below, and that way I know what I've got.